In this video, we introduce hydroponics, a way of growing plants without soil. So, how do we grow plants if not in soil? Put simply, all we need for such growing is a plant, a growing medium to hold the plant in the pot, a nutrient solution and water. The growing medium itself does not contain any nutrients. The most commonly used materials are coir and expanded clay, also called hydrotone, which are perfect for retaining moisture whilst keeping a compact sheep. As a result, enough air stays in the gaps, which benefits the development of the plant's root system. The nutrient solution can be used either in liquid form or as a tablet. In conventional cultivation, water in the soil continuously evaporates, meaning it needs to be constantly replenished. In contrast, in a hydroponic system, water circulates, which reduces water consumption. In order to understand how to properly nourish and take care of plants, let's take a look at what they are made of. Like other living things, plants consist of organic matter, which is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen and carbon. In order to grow, plants need the following elements. Light to carry out the process of photosynthesis, which produces glucose and thus provides energy for the plant's life processes. During the process of photosynthesis, plants take carbon dioxide from the environment and return oxygen as a waste product. Another element is water, which is used to carry out many biochemical reactions and as a transport medium for nutrients. It helps to keep the plants strong. Without water, plants wither. Last but not least, the plant needs nutrients. These are divided into macro and micronutrients. Macronutrients include nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These are absorbed in the greatest quantities and are crucial for a plant's survival. Plants also require boron, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, sulfur and zinc. How to use this knowledge to grow plants in a hydroponic system? By removing the soil, we take away the plant's nutrients, a major source of pests and a water-retaining medium. This might seem like a disadvantage, but in fact it is the opposite. We gain full control over the environment and have the ability to grow healthier and faster growing plants. If the plant does not thrive, check if it has got enough light, irrigation and nutrients. Let's take a look at how to effectively manage these resources when growing plants hydroponically at home. How to use water efficiently at home. Collect water that would otherwise be normally disposed of, for example, water left over after a visitor or unused water from the kettle. You can also use unsweetened mineral water. It doesn't harm plants and can give them the minerals they need. Adding sawdust to your plants will encourage the water to stay in the pot longer. It is easy to get from carpenters, garden shops or Christmas tree sellers before the Christmas holidays. If you grow plants outside in the garden, a useful watering aid can be oil irrigation. An unglazed pot buried in the soil where it gradually releases water. The roots of the plants grow around the container and absorb water directly from its walls. What household products can we use to replenish nutrients? Coffee grounds, which can be added to the plants once a month. Ground eggshells provide the calcium needed for plants, just add them twice a year. Wood ash is a source of potassium. You only need to add it once a year and you can collect it either from the fireplace or after a barbecue. At home, we can also produce our own complex source of nutrients for our plants. Classing composting, vermicomposting, from which we obtain the so-called warm tea by decomposing earthworms, or bokashi composting, from which, thanks to a mixture of bacteria and yeast yields through fermentation, a nitrogen-rich bokashi mass and tea is obtained. It should be diluted with water in a ratio of 1 to 20 and add it to the plants once a week. What about the light? Plants enjoy morning and early evening light. If your plants are exposed to the sun directly between 11 am and 3 pm, use shade nets. However, make sure that there is always airflow around the plants. Thyme, rosemary, lavender and tropical plants that like dryness and light prosper on the south side of the house. Finally, a few more growing tips. Plants grow faster in a hydroponic system. For example, 
Lettuce can be grown hydroponically in as little as 21 days. Once picked, store it in a Ziploc bag. It will stay fresh for up to three weeks. If you are fighting slugs in your outdoor beds, try stretching copper wire around them. In addition to hydroponics, there are also aquaponics and aeroponics. Aquaponics combines soilless hydroponic plant growing with fish farming. Fish produce waste substances, which are then decomposed by bacteria into the necessary nutrients for the plants. In an aeroponic system, the roots of the plants hang down freely. Instead of a substrate, the growing container only contains mist, made up of air and a nutrient solution that is regularly sprayed towards the plants. Let's summarize what to remember when growing plants without soil. Make sure the plants get enough light. Protect them from direct daylight, which can burn them. Ensure there is airflow. Check regularly that the plant has got enough water. Provide the plants with the nutrients they need, either in the form of purchased solutions or your own earthworm, bokashi tea or compost.